do not be afraid to leap into March. We are crossing over. I saw a very large company of horses of many colors be gathered from various places. Then I saw that the place the horses were being gathered to was a threshold, but this threshold was paved with a cattle guard. Jesus asked me, what are cattle guards for? I looked it up and found that cattle, livestock, and horses do not have great depth perception. The goal of a cattle guard is to create a visual barrier to prevent animals from stepping across the fence line. In this case, the threshold to the promised land. The cattle guard I saw was made of steel beams crossing over a small pit. It represented what appeared to be a dauntingly difficult path forward, but it was the only way across. My spirit understood it to mean forgiveness, a daunting path of forgiveness. Along with a few others, we began to approach the cross guard. Everyone's heads were looking down at the ground instead of ahead. I noticed an easy pathway to the right of a cross guard, so I began to proceed. As I took the first few steps, I looked to the left and saw a brown horse struggling with the cross guard. Its head hung low and the steel bars made it very nervous. Suddenly, across the threshold, I saw several men riding horses. I couldn't tell whether they were friends or foes at first. I noticed they did not have weapons drawn, but one of them held a black electric guitar, which confused me at first. I looked again and the writer began to play an awful sound from his guitar, distortions of sound that agitated the brown horse trying to cross over. He got so close, but he was paying so much attention to the distortion of sounds and then to the ground that he lost his footing and his foot slipped into the cattle guard. Suddenly, he panicked and miraculously shrunk into the size of the pit, not realizing that he was actually much bigger than the pit itself and that it truly was impossible for him to have done that. It was a mental war. The power of the mind and what it believes, whether it is small or strong in the Lord, I knew this was not supposed to happen. No one was supposed to get left behind. I then realized it's a leap year. That's all it would take for the horses to cross over, a leap of faith to get out of the pit to get to the other side. Jesus then reminded me that Numbers 13 speaks of how the Israelites spied out the land and only two of them came back with a good report, Joshua and Caleb. They reported on how bountiful and blessed the land was, a land flowing with milk and honey, trusting in God for the fulfillment of his promise. They knew him to be faithful and true. The other spies returned fearful, seeing only the giants of the land that somehow convinced them they were more powerful than their God. All lies. Let us be like Caleb, strong no matter how many days pass, ready to possess, to occupy the land, confident that with God they are able to overcome the enemy. Friend, you have the choice to either succumb to fear and distraction, distortions of the truth, or look up for your redemption is nigh. Take that leap of faith and cross over knowing that God is with you and he has overcome the world already. You just have to walk in. So close your ears to what the enemy is saying and playing his distortions of sounds. Do not look down on the ground to where your foot might slip. Let go of your offense. Let go of it completely and be free. Take the leap of faith over that cattle guard so your foot does not get stuck. Look up to the one who redeems you, to the one who's leading you to the promised land, and take that leap over that cattle guard so you do not get stuck there, and live in a beautiful freedom in crossing the threshold and entering the promised land. In the mighty name of Jesus.